Um, so I'm the owner and founder of Transfigure Printco. Um, I graduated in 2020 from Kendall College of Art and Design. In um, 2017 uh, slash 2018, I started a small hobby business called Sell by Design, which I sold with black carvings and screen prints. Um, that I made in my bedroom and living room of the house that I shared with about three other college students. Um, 2019 is, however, is when Transfigure Print Co. was born legally and creatively. Um, there's a trans and queer owned screen printing company that works with and for the LGBT community and that is located actually right around the corner of Taylor Street. Um, a couple of other things about me is that I have two cats at home, Cleo and Jack, which you will see later in the presentation. Um, I collect and mod old Game Boys in my free time, and I have a wonderful partner named Arlo, who's in the corner over there, who happens to be recording everything um, for my parents to watch later. So, <laughs> so hello. Okay. Where I started was I, I was doing graphic design at Kendall. I started in 2015. Um, I did that for about three years and was taking printmaking classes um, for, towards my minor. Um, I started doing woodblock prints and carvings at school and at home, um, and I started printing them and selling them on um, Etsy. So um, what you have on the screen is actually the first uh, shirt that I carved and printed as a woodblock. It was from the show Friends that I never watched, but I really liked the shirt, so I was like, I'm gonna make that for myself. <laughs> Um, so I printed and, and started selling the shirt on Etsy. Apparently, like, everybody really liked it and wanted one for their own. So that's kind of where the apparel printing started. Um, and at the same time, I was doing a lot of work at school. Um, that had a, a lot to do with my identity, um, mental health, uh, family, physical health, etc. I kind of have a couple pieces of my work that I did at Kindle in this slide show. Um, and I taught myself about a screen print at home this summer that I decided to switch over to print making. Um, I bought a kit on Amazon uh, that had kind of everything that you need to screen print. Um, taught myself how to make screens at home uh, using like a singular light bulb, which isn't very easy. I don't know if anybody has any experience with screen printing. Um, and yeah, I washed out screens in my bathtub. It was, <laughs> the house was a mess when I actually moved out three, four years later. Um, didn't get my security class back. <laughs> so yeah, this was the living room of the house that I lived in. I eventually moved my screen printing uh, stuff out of my, my, my bedroom and into the living room, which my roommates really loved. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of where I was at. Um, Kind of what led Transfigure into what it is today, I was struggling a lot with how to connect um, what I was passionate about with my identity and the trans community with what I was doing outside of school. And that's really where Transfigure was born. I started making stuff like pronoun teas, teas about like body autonomy, um, advocacy, chosen family, and just all around living your truth, being with people that love you. Uh, at the time I saw a lack of not only education on trans issues in the community and society, but really a lack of awareness and lack of care um, from society as a whole. I really wanted to change that by opening up a conversation uh, and my own wallet to trans people who needed help. There's a couple, oh, there's Jack right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So really on the topic of ethos, um, I started using the, some of the things I was making as fundraisers. Um, one of the first fundraisers I did was a uh, Kickstarter for the, these pins that I made. Um, and then a portion of proceeds went to two different trans people. And that was kind of where I started um, fundraising. And I think a couple months later I had a tattoo artists that reached out and wanted to donate the Protect Trans Kids design that everybody knows and loves. Um, and the only kind of rule that they had with me printing it was that I would continue to donate 
um, a portion of the proceeds every time I sell it. Um, so yeah, we've been printing the Protect Transcapes design since 2019. And it's raised a good chunk of that 50,000, which as of a couple days ago is 53,000 now, so that's cool. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, we raise money for nonprofits, organizations, collectives, kind of all over the U.S. Um, and we also give directly to trans folks. Um, we kind of found a couple years of the fundraising, we found that you know you can donate to some groups and organizations, but you don't, you can't see them giving directly. You don't know where the money is going if it's actually giving to the people that you want to help. So we started a support fund, I believe, in 2020 or 2021 where people can donate directly into that fund and then we will give directly to trans people. So, you know, we would give through Venmo or PayPal or their GoFundMe so we can see exactly where the money is going. Um, I think it, this trans figure as a whole really fits in with the theme of ebooks. The definition being characteristic spirit of a culture, era, or community as manifested in its beliefs and aspirations. Um, knowing that and doing what I do what I wish to happen after sharing a little bit about my life and business is that maybe um, everyone could take it upon themselves to educate and advocate for the trans community, um, donate some of your time or your money or both of those. Um, some other cool things that I have done with Transfigure is I've collaborated with a lot of um, really cool artists and businesses that I never thought I would be working with. Um, I had reached out to Boss Dog Apparel, um, I think last year, and I kind of just, when I was scrolling on Instagram, and saw, started following them, their, their work is really cool, and I was like, I'll reach out and see if like, they would want to partner, um, not thinking I would ever hear back, and it was like midnight too when I sent this email. <laughs> so I woke up the next morning, and he had sent me an email back, and I was like, let's collab, and I was like, wow, that's wild. So we ended up doing uh, quite a few different shirt collabs. Um, and a lot of the proceeds, I think actually um, each one of these shirts had a fundraiser attached to it and went to different, different nonprofits. Um, another part of what Transfigure does is that we work with um, other businesses. So we do contract work. We work with a lot of bigger companies, a lot of smaller companies, um, mostly during Pride Month, which uh, is cool, but also wish these businesses would reach out, you know, outside of Pride Month too. I think that's really important. Um, we work with Bombas, we work with Gary Deli. Um, this year for Pride, we worked with Airbnb, which is really cool. Um, we work locally with Basal, uh, we work with the Trans Foundation, um, other local artists uh, and collectives. So, if anybody needs anything printed, feel free to reach out. And then a newer portion of Transfigure, um, which has happened within the past couple months, is that we also do wholesale. Um, so you can shop Transfigure in person now. Um, we only have, we have a, like a small little studio space on Taylor Street. And it's really just a production space, but um, now you can actually shop Transfigure in person. So we only have one spot locally right now, which I, I would love to change from any point. Um, <laughs> We only have one place locally, which is the USCA, and then we kind of have um, different stores kind of all spread out. That list is a bit old, so we have, you know, probably around 50 at this point places you can shop around the US for chance figure. Um, the last like cool thing I like to talk about is that um, Jamie Lee Curtis actually owns Predict Trans Kids Apparel. Um, I had at this time, she reached out. I didn't have any t-shirts on the site because they sell out quite often. And so she DM'd me on Instagram. And as you can see, told me she was Jamie Lee Curtis. And, like, obviously, you know. <laughs> and then I asked how she could buy a shirt. Um, so she ended up Venmo and me money for a shirt. And I sold her, I, I sent her some shirts and a blanket and a bandana. Fast forward a little bit. And it was, I think, the night before Trans Day Remembrance. And I reached out and asked her if she could, um, you know, post a picture, you know, let people know that they can buy stuff from Transfigure. She read the message and did not respond. So I was like, okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, the next morning I woke up and she had posted this photo on her Instagram. So that was really cool. 
Um, and last but not least, uh, Transfigure started as a little side gig for me, so I did that for a while by myself. Um, in 2019, I hired the first person, uh, which is my best friend Riley. They worked with me, I think, until about 2020. We ended up moving to Chicago, and then this past summer, I think a little bit before the summer, I hired my friend Evan, who's just sitting over there, waving. Um, Evan is our second press operator, so he helps me screen print and do production stuff. And then we have Kay, which I just hired a couple months ago, and they do order fulfillment and all of our really great um, TikToks and reels and stuff like that we've seen. Kay has gotten all. So um, we are going to be doing some printing. So everybody that signed up for a ticket will be able to print their own shirt if they want to, or it can print it for you if you're scared. It's okay. <laughs> um, I thought it would be cool if everybody had to print the, the Protect Trans Kids design since it's like our, our most well-known t-shirt. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this specifically, but 20% of each one of the Protect Trans Kids shirt goes directly to a trans-centric business. Um, you don't, by any means, need to, but if you would like to, we accept donations on our link tree that goes directly into our trans support fund. Um, you can find that, I believe, on our Instagram bio. You can get directly to the donation page. Um, so, uh, thanks everyone for being here. Um, and wanting to know more about Transfigure, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, email, or you can come up and talk to you too. Thank you.